This is a midweek update where I just want to talk about some stuff I've been thinking about. And this week I want to talk about DDR5 running in single channel versus dual channel on the AM5 platform. So this is literally just running with one stick of RAM versus two sticks of RAM. So one stick would be single channel, two sticks would be dual channel. And the reason I bring this up is I thought there was something with DDR5 where even if you were running with one stick, it somehow mimicked the performance of dual channel and you ended up not seeing a performance penalty. But in the testing that I did, I saw between 10 to 20% worse performance. And the reason why this is an issue is because the 7600X bundle I bought from Micro Center came with one 16 gigabyte stick of DDR5 6000. So at the time, I didn't think I was gonna see any worse performance, but now that I've actually done this testing, I've seen that you're getting much worse performance running with one stick versus two. So in this video, we are going to go over all the results for my 6000 CL30 kit, and then I'm gonna show you guys the benchmark summaries for my 6000 CL36 kit, and then the benchmark summary for my 5800X3D setup running DDR4 3600 CL16. The reason this is in here is just so that you know it's not a capacity issue. The 16 gigabytes and the 32 gigabytes testing that I did with the 5800X3D are both dual channel and you end up seeing almost identical performance with it. Whereas in the DDR5 setups, it's definitely a single channel versus a dual channel issue. And I just wanna show you guys the results so that you guys can make good decisions because I know RAM prices are expensive right now, but if your genius idea was to go in with a friend and buy a set of RAM and then split it and each of you gets one stick, uh, you're going to see way worse performance and all of the testing with DDR5 has been done with the 7600X and the reason behind that is it's just a weaker CPU. You're going to probably be on more of a budget and you're going to be thinking that maybe running one stick makes sense, but I just want to let you know you are going to be seeing worse performance at least in the games that I tested. So let's get into the results. First up we have Call of Duty Warzone and we are comparing single channel versus dual channel. So we have dual channel up top, single channel down below and we end up seeing 15% worse average FPS, 18% worse 1% lows, and 15% worse 0.1% lows. Next up is Lords of the Fallen, and it's pretty much a 9% decrease across the board. Uh, average FPS, 1%, and 0.1% lows all decrease by at least 9%. And this is, again, just the difference between single channel versus dual channel with DDR5. In Hogwarts Legacy, we see a 12% decrease in the average FPS, a 25% decrease in the 1% lows, and a 5% decrease in the 0.1% lows. Finally, in Cyberpunk 2077 in Dogtown, we see that we have 16% better performance in the averages, 23% better performance in the 1% lows, and 32% better performance in the 0.1% lows. But let's get into the benchmark summary. Looking at the benchmark summary, we can see that with the 7600X running with single channel versus dual channel with our DDR5 6000 CL30 kit, we see a pretty big performance decrease running in single channel. And I was just wondering if maybe the performance scaling would be different with a higher cast latency kit. So let's take a look at the benchmark summary with the DDR5 6000 CL36. And here we can see that the single channel performance is pretty similar. They're not that far off from each other. And then as you'd expect, there's slightly worse dual channel performance just because this is a higher cast latency set. But just to show you guys that this is not a capacity thing, this is definitely the single channel versus dual channel. Let's take a look at my 5800X3D data. And here we can see that on the top, I was running four DIMMs and on the bottom, I was running two. And basically what that means is both of these configurations are dual channel. And we can see that there's very little performance difference between these two. But that's all I wanted to get into in this midweek update. I'll still have my regular video out on Tuesday, but I appreciate you watching and I'll see you then.